Hey guys, how you doing? This is Angel on Fire here. Um, today I'm going to be starting a set of tutorials on how to use uh, Blitz Basic or Blitz 3D. And this is basically uh, just uh, tutorials on how to make games and how to start programming. Now, this is not a big programming language. It's made for people who are just starting out. So um, I'm just going to run you guys through, first of all, uh, just a layout and how to download it. Um, but then I'm going to get into further tutorials on how to program now. As I was saying, this isn't like C++ or C Sharp or anything like that, so you can't go extremely in depth. But if you don't do any programming at all, it's a great place to start. It's where I started too. Um, so first off, um, and I'll put all the link, uh, links in the description below. But first off, just go uh, to the first link, uh, blitzbasic.com, and then you're going to go to products, and from here, uh, you can see there are quite a few different options. Um, in my case, I have Blitz 3D. I bought it. It's only 60 bucks, and again. If you really get into this, then it's definitely worth buying. Uh, the demo is only, uh, you can only make files up to 16 kilobytes, I think, so that's not much at all, but it gives you enough to play around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the tutorial from here. Now, also what you should do is you should make an account um, and make an account with Blitz Plus. Right now it's actually free and it used to be $60. I'm not sure how long it's be free for, but what it will also allow is once you make an account, um, and you put in the key uh, for Blitz, uh, Blitz Plus, you can actually log on to the forums. Whereas if you just make an account, uh, well, you can't make an account without registering one of the Blitzes. So you'll be able to go on the forums and ask people stuff. Um, and so, yeah, without further ado, I will get started as soon as this finishes downloading. So, actually, yeah, I can just run through most of these. Um, so, first of all, Blitz Max and Blitz Plus, those are two of the programming languages that they use. Um, now, Blitz Max is the only one, yes, yeah, the only one that you can use on Mac, I believe. Yes, yeah, so you cannot use uh, Blitz Plus on Mac. But, so yeah, Blitz Max, uh, you can use on uh, Mac, and it's just basic uh, 2D programming, so either if you wanted to make little games like that, or if you just wanted to do a whole bunch of equations and maths, mathy stuff, something like that. Whereas Blitz 3D, you can make 3D programs, and again, um, I hope to get further into tutorials where I can actually show you guys how to uh, make stuff like that. So, um, Blitz 3D is the one I use and we'll be getting to that um, soon and it is downloaded so I'm just going to open it up, install the program uh, and obviously uh, yeah, just hit next, make sure it's in the right place I'm going to put in program files myself um, and install. So, I'll finish installing and I'll launch it now, as you can see, you have this little loading bar. It's not because the program's loading, it's just because it's the demo. But I'm just going to stay with the demo uh, so that you guys can all understand what I'm doing. Now, in this first tutorial, I'm just going to make sure that you guys understand the layout. And I'm not going to get into any programming, uh, anything in depth, but just basically how uh, to get started. So, this is a simple layout of Blitz 3D. Um, as you can see, you have uh, this is like your home page where you can go and see a couple samples made with Blitz 3D. Uh, the command reference is something I always use. Um, you can look up the commands if you don't know them, so uh, like pretty much just a dictionary. Um, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So, otherwise, um, language reference. Uh, this one, oh, this one's actually pretty nice. You can go here and get a mini tutorial, but I'll try to run through all this stuff myself so you don't have to go reading in and making it difficult for yourself. So, other than that, um, you can look up better codes, screenshots from other people, uh, community forums is a big one. Um, just because you can ask people any questions, and I've done it multiple times myself and I've gotten great answers. Um, so tons of people there, and tons of people willing to help. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, Blitz 3D is limited to 16 kilobytes worth file, and you cannot create executables. So basically, you, oh, sh oh, sorry, I'll get into that stuff later. Um, right now, I'm uh, just going to show you how to make a file, save a file, uh, open a file, and stuff like that. So, right here, um, you can actually hit uh, open or new file. Uh, it'll bring up this window. This is where you do all your uh, typing and everything. Again, not going to get into any detail right now, uh, but say I were to go and just save it, you can save it right away or you can start typing, whatever. Um, but obviously, it's saved just as like uh, just like if you're saving a Word document or saving anything else on the computer. Again, if you want to open something, you're just going to hit this folder right here and you'll be able to open any programs. And these are just the demos that come with it. So, um, 
Other than that, this one right here will allow you to close your current window if it's been saved and if you have changed something. Um, it will ask you if you want to save it before you close it. Uh, next, you have your copy and paste cut right here. Copy and paste. Uh, again, you can just use Control c to copy, Control x to cut, and Control d to paste, just like any other program. Um, search or find is really useful if you want to look up um, where you've put something in your code. Um, so you can just search for a keyword or just a part of a word that you're looking for. It doesn't have to be case sensitive or a whole word either. It can only be a part of it if you like. Um, other than that, uh, file, you have all your stuff in here. Um, again, this is, you can print, you can look at your recent files, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, other than that, uh, okay, so I can't, basically, when you make, uh, when you program something in the code, uh, and, well, sorry, program something with the code, um, to run it and see what you've done, you just hit the little rocket up here, and then it will, uh, debug your program, and so right now it's just gonna say, Oops, Izzy. Might even glitch over here, but okay, yeah. So it's not gonna doesn't know what our Africa is means because that's nothing. Uh, it's just something I typed in. I don't know if it's frozen now, but um, basically, uh, you can actually just check for it before you run the program. Um, and creating an executable basically means you will take the stuff out of the code and then uh, make it into exe that you can use on the computer. Okay, so basically that's it for the first tutorial, um, and as I was saying, I will make many more and explain everything else in, in depth, and I'll try to make it as slow as I can uh, for the absolute beginner. So if you know quite a bit about basic already, then don't watch this tutorial, uh, because or skip ahead a couple episodes, just because I'm going to start off really slow, and make sure that anybody who's watching will be able to understand this. So I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.